Hello and welcome to another 10 TCGs, 10 booster packs video. Today with number two in the video series. I will try to open like uh, new TCGs in every video. Like I'm not re try not to repeat like every every other video. So today we have uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of new TCGs. This one is. Uh, Gate ruler, and it's actually the first time I open this TCG. And there's also a um, Japanese version of this TCG. I don't think it's still ongoing. And yeah, there were only a few sets available in English, and the price was pretty high. So yeah, when it was new, box prices were very expensive. But let's see if I remember they had a lot of different art frame colors. <laughs> Rue, Tau, Ross, okay. This art style reminds me of a Shadow vs. Evolve, this like high fantasy art style, and then. Okay. Yeah, this is weird. So we get a mix of different art styles. Like we have this anime art style, and next to this. This reminds me of Battle Spirit Saga. I opened one box, and it was such a weird experience. And this looks like a Force of Will artwork. This is this is so weird. The different maybe there are the same artists working on this TCG as for Force of Will. Oh, this is so weird. And yeah, the different colored card frames. Like this pink, it's so dominant. I try to remember how many TCGs have like um, such dominant different colored card frames. Did Metazoo has this too? I haven't opened Metazoo either. Okay, we get foil. We get two foil cards. No texture on these. And we have like a rarity. So there are different stars. So maybe this is a four star. Zap, zap, zap. I like this art style. Like cell shaded, like comic art style. This looks fine. Not that bad. Then we get like this Mecha, Warrior, Samurai. There are like, yeah, Samurai armor looking parts. Yeah, not sure we... <laughs> I have uh, quite a few more gate ruler booster packs, so hope we will try out in the future, uh, or we will find out what's what's this about. Or maybe I will do some more research so I can tell you a little bit more. And yeah, this is uh, Duel Masters. Duel Masters is still pretty popular and ongoing in, in Japan. the The English releases stopped like a long time ago. Oh, and this is some kind of like special set, I think. Maybe some kind of anniversary. We get a super rare. And yeah, my problem with Dual Mass is that sometimes the artworks are just so noisy, like so over the place, I can cannot really make up what I'm looking at. And not really like clear outlines and very wild uh, like creature or monster design, but this looks fine. Um the feather pattern in the background looks really cool and fitting to the to the character. I also like the colors. Yellow, blue and red. Interesting. So yeah. It's a multicolor card, so you can play it in different decks. Yeah, Detective Conan. I have uh I've done box openings of this TCG. I I'm a big fan of Detective Conan or like Case Closed. And in this TCG, they mix the artwork of the manga with uh, some original or like new art. It's not like in Weiss Schwarz or Union Arena where they just took uh, screenshots of the anime and printed on cards. And then they are like, oh, we are done. We have a great TCG. And they have a lot of great artwork in, in this TCG. And I... It's one of the very few TCGs that I want to open regularly, like box openings. 
Grand Archive, Dawn of Ashes, the Alter Edition. So this was like the regular retail version. There was a Kickstarter version. And yeah, I opened boxes of Grand Archive in the past, but I just didn't enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, it, they are very scarce with foil cards and the foiling doesn't even look good. <laughs> I think it wasn't intended, but the foiling was very, very dark in some of the the prints. Don't know if they fixed it in the future, but yeah. There was also the... Um, there was a special deck version, and the, the cards were damaged. Like, they, they were very, like, a premium product advertised as a premium product, but... The packaging wasn't premium, so the cards were damaged. At least in my case and some cases that I saw on Twitter. So very disappointing. I I dropped the current archive TCG basically, but I have still like bo booster packs left I will open. And this is Vivids. Vivids is a dead TCG from Broccoli. Uh, Broccoli, I don't think they have a... Another TCG ongoing. I think they make card sleeves and boxes. But I don't think they have a, a TCG still. But yeah, very like similar to ZX or V-Cross, like Anime Girls. Uh, they have some issues with curving. This one is quite okay, but uh, with many of the... There was also like a special set or th three, three special sets. And the foil cards were very curved right from the, the pack. And then we have ZX. ZX is like one one of my main TCGs I open and collect and yeah. They have awesome high rarity hits. I hope I can show you some of them or yeah just look at my channel and the ZX openings. I have had great luck in my, my live streams also. Now this is just the LR foil cards. It's a cold foiling. It looks dark too, but um, in reality it, it's looking very nice. On camera it's a bit dark. But yeah, not textured, not one of the high hits. One Piece, yeah. One Piece has great success, but I, I'm i just not, not really into One Piece, to be honest. Sometimes the the art style or the character style is just not mine, to be honest. It's not my... They are so highly stylized, the characters, that I don't enjoy them so much. Even if the, the, the card game has great artists, they really have amazing artwork. But yeah, in, in general, I'm just not big into One Piece. And we get a foiled rare cards. And yeah, card quality is amazing. Like Bandai, similar to, to Digimon. Well, I, I have Digimon here too. Like card quality of Digimon is amazing. Also artwork, like you can't criticize Bandai for a lot of the things like short printing and yeah, creating hype for, for their TCGs. They did this with Digimon and One Piece and probably will do this with Union Arena too, but... They make great art and great cards. Really amazing. And we get a super rare. Oh, what was this? Was it in the, the Digimon movie? I don't remember. Yeah, but not texture, just a super rare. And then the, I don't know, can you call it reboot? Is it a reboot? It's basically a reboot, right? Like the... Dragon Ball Super Card Game, Fusion World. Let's see, it's the first, the first booster pack of Fusion World I open. I think it's a little bit more simplistic uh, to play compared to the the Dragon Ball Super Card Game before. But yeah, artwork wise, I don't know. It doesn't speak to me as much as uh, as Digimon or One Piece. Oh, we get a super rare, and the super rares are textured. 
very subtle, but uh, yeah, there's a pattern in the background and some texture. So the super rares in, in Dragon Ball feel higher as a higher hit than, than the Digimon super rares. And last but not least, uh, build divide bright. Um, yeah, this is like an extra line or extra booster pack series of build divide. Build divide is their own like TCG or and anime, and bright is basically like the the franchise collaboration version. So they have uh, Bunny Girl Senpai or like in this case Atelier Riser. So there's also Fate Grand Order, so they yeah collaborate or like print other anime shows and series. And the high hits look very nice, but yeah, they are very rare too. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> so this is like a pixelated foiling, but at the same time, there is a weird pattern. And I tilt the card, you can see it, like these blocks. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> Let me know in the comment what do you think of this foiling, but I mean, I'm fine with the pixelated foiling. It's better than shadow foiling. But at the same time, these weird patterns also, it's overkill and... I'm not a big fan. Yeah, I, I hope you like this series. Uh, I will try to get as many different TCGs as I can and show you yeah, a variety of different TCGs. So. For more unboxings, please follow my channel and subscribe. And yeah, see you in my next unboxing. Bye.